Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day today. It's Kara Jones here to speak to you about things that I find extraordinary. Today I'm going to talk about something that's been on my mind lately. And it's about the fact that I'm about to turn freaking 40. I don't really feel like I'm having a midlife crisis. Or do I feel like I'm having a midlife crisis? I may be in denial, but I like to call it a midlife awareness. When you're becoming really aware that 20 years has passed by really, really fast. Like it feels as if I was just 20 yesterday and now I'm going to be 40 and my 20s were awesome. My 30s were even better. So I know that my 40s are going to kick some serious ass. I thought I learned a lot in my 20s, my 30s. Oh my God, quadrupled that. When I was in my 20s, I felt like every year was like three years. But then in my 30s, it felt like every year was like six months, but I crammed a lot into that six months. Today, I thought I'd share with you five of the things I learned in my 30s. Yep, only five. There's a lot more that I learned in my 30s, but these are ones that really stood out to me and I thought I'd share them with you today. So here we go, five things that I learned in my 30s. Number five. Number five is a little bit cliche, but it is actually really true. You care a lot less about appearances. We tend to look at everybody else's story and we think, oh, it's better over there instead of being happy and grateful for where we are at the moment. And this is not something that totally goes away. You definitely care about what other people think of you. I mean, you'd be lying to say you don't care about what other people think of you. You just care less as you get older. We care in the sense that we want them to understand what we're doing and have their support but we pretty much don't care as much about how people judge us because how they judge us is pretty much none of our business. Number four. I really hope there's no fire alarm in here. Number four is a big one for me. I learned about the law of attraction. I think I was 28 or nine, so I wasn't quite yet into my 30s, but man, I rocked the law of attraction in my 30s. The law of attraction is whatever you think about, you bring about. So whatever you're thinking and feeling, you're attracting into your life. Now, there are a lot of different levels to this, and I would say to you that it's not actually as simple as everyone makes it seem, but at the same time, it is very simple. If you focus on gratitude and you focus on the positive things in your life while acknowledging the negative things, just not focusing all of your attention on those negative things, crazy shit starts to happen. It's not that shitty stuff doesn't happen when you use the law of attraction. It's just that your bounce back time is super fast when you incorporate the law of attraction into your life. So let's say you lose a job and you're like, oh man, that really sucks. I lost my job. When you learn about the law of attraction, you're able to think, well, maybe there's something better for me about to come my way. And it works. I have done crazy stuff in my 30s using the law of attraction. I've won awards, I've traveled, I've met really cool people. I've pretty much done all kinds of things that have manifested when I started to learn about the law of attraction. So I invite you to learn about it. Number three. A big component to the law of attraction, and it's still really relevant, and how I used it in my 30s was a big deal. It's learning to let go of the outcome. I learned about this when I was 29. It's like I had this huge epiphany. I remember I was working at this theater, and it just something dawned on me where I was like, wait a second. Everything that I ever wanted or think I should have had at this point never happened exactly the way I had it in my mind. So it's kind of like that expression. If you want to make God laugh, tell him that you have a plan. Yeah, that's so true. And when you're in your 20s, you're always thinking about like, I need to be having a kid at this age. I should be married at this age or I should have a partner at this age or my career should be at this certain place at this age. And you have all these like preconceived ideas from your childhood or your uh cultural background or whatever it is that you're supposed to be at this specific place at this certain time. And at 29, I just realized that that was absolute bullshit and that there was actually no real plan. And when I realized that, oh man, I was free. It was awesome. An example of letting go of the outcome is like when you ask for something and you say like, oh man, I'd really love to have a new car, but you say this or something better. So in your mind, you gotta let go of how that car is coming into your life. You just gotta let it go. It's gonna come. You just gotta believe it's gonna come into your life. And if you say this or something better, maybe you get an even better car. Or maybe you win the car. Or maybe you don't have to have a loan for the car. It's letting go of the outcome. As soon as you learn to let go of the outcome, oh man, cool stuff starts happening. My two broke. Oh well, you get the point. Number two. 
Number two is so important. There is no such thing as get rich quick. If you could see the amount of work that people put into what they do behind the scenes of people who are rich, you would never believe in get rich quick ever again. And I mean like multi-level marketing. I'm not saying that stuff doesn't work. It can work. It's just that it's not as easy as they make it seem. So I'm gonna give you an example. I make vlogs, I podcast, and sometimes I write blogs. I'm, I'm a little bit busy these days, but I usually, I do write, I just don't write all the time. I also homeschool my child and I have a full-time job. That takes a lot of work. And I actually have no idea how people choose what they're gonna watch. You can't control it. You can't, you gotta let go of the outcome. So you might watch this video, you might not. You might hate everything I'm saying and say, Carrie, you're full of shit, none of this is extraordinary. But if you have a goal, you just gotta work towards it and work is the key word. It's like when people talk about bands that got famous overnight. <sighs> like please that that doesn't exist you don't even know how much work those bands have put into how many small dives they've been playing uh, over and over again in order for people to see that they're talented the key word is you got to take action you got to work towards your goal you got to have a plan and I could do a whole series just on that alone number one number one is truly dear to my heart I'm not saying don't exercise. I exercised throughout my 30s. I am a little bit of a lazier exerciser, but I was always active. But now that I'm in my later 30s, something really crazy has happened. It's like all I have to do is smell a muffin at Tim Hortons and I gain 10 pounds. So my advice to you at the beginning of your 30s especially is get off the scale throw the scale out and enjoy the junk food and the metabolism that you have in your early 30s because oh my god when it's gone you really miss it what kind of things have you learned in your 30s i want to hear about them make a comment below and put your name and i'll do a shout out and we'll talk about those things that you also learned in your 30s if you want to hear some really cool interviews with some amazing people go and check out my website www.carajonespeaks.tv where i'm hosting my podcast and do me a favor Help a girl out and click the subscribe button below.